Ignore me while I eat, like, a freaking mad animal. Because I'm on my lunch break from work, and that's driving me fucking nuts. I can't even begin to tell you guys this crazy shit. They hired my freaking ex-boyfriend. Yeah! Why? It just is irritating as all hell to have to work with him, because here's a guy that I was freaking- I let into my life. I freaking gave him a place to stay. I was- Endless list of shit I did for this guy, and then he goes and he fucks me over. Here's what the fucking bastard does. Let me tell you this shit. A, a bite of a fucking salad, what that is. Here's this douchebag I met a couple years ago. And, uh, we hung out, we didn't hit it off, cause he- well, I thought he was fucking crazy, and I was like, yeah, this guy's a freak. And it was the first time I met someone that I carried a knife in my pocket, because I was- I was afraid this guy was gonna kill me or something, so I was like, yeah, let me- let me- he try to try, so let me try to do it first, you know? Whatever. Um, so now I just carry knives on every date. It's not odd, right? The ex now, who at the time wanted to hang out with him for some reason or another, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'm, I'll go to work, you hang out with him. Because he thought he was a nice person and they could be friends and this and that, blah 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 blah, blah you know. All that crazy bullshit. So, <laughs> they hang out and uh, my best friend Nicole is at the mall. Well, here my ex and this new guy are supposed to get, they're supposed to call me and on my lunch break we're all supposed to hang out together and, you know, do something. Well, Nicole calls me as she's eating Arby's and the fuck are you looking at, bitch? Have you ever seen anyone fucking do a video blog from their car? And she's like, oh my god, oh my god, Sean, you won't believe this. I caught your, your boyfriend's here at the mall and he's making out with this other guy. And she sends the picture of the Arby sandwich. It's because my boyfriend is now an Arby sandwich. I honestly didn't get it at first. I'm like, what the I'm like, like, what are you fucking talking about? This is an Arby sandwich. This isn't my boyfriend. Although, there have been many nights that I've wanted Arby sandwiches. In the sheets, you know? Look at that. Ugh, many nights. Anyway, so, before all these crazy people keep staring at me and they think I'm on something, uh, I'm gonna get to my point. The point that I'm making is, um, he and, if you couldn't figure that out, he cheated on me. After all this freaking shit I did for him, he had the nerve to fucking go with another guy. Oh, that wasn't it. They fucking had sex that night. He calls me and tells me he's sorry about it, but he just doesn't see us working out. You just fucked someone else! Of course you don't see us working out! Like, no shit! When you fuck someone else, you ain't gonna... It ain't gonna work out! I fucked someone else! I don't see us working out! <sighs> they're, they're keeping us separated, but every day, in the back of my mind, I know that fuck is there. He ruined everything else when we were together, and now he's gotta ruin my job. So I gotta be there. I wanna frickin' go and bitch slap him every time I fucking see him, but I don't. Oh, I hate the little bitch. I hate the little bitch. I hate that little bitch. He needs to be fucking bitch slapped. Anyone's welcome to come to my work and fucking bitch slap him around. This little fucker. So this little fucker is always finding ways to get under my fucking skin. Yeah. I think I need to get going. I only have a couple minutes to get back to work. The point is, he fucking cheated on me. That's his fucking loss right there. That bitch is fucking retarded. I have an onion ring stuck in my fucking teeth.